Hey y'all, welcome to my channel, welcome to this video. Um, it's that time of the year, basically. Um, it's the NBA playoffs. Um, let's look at it from this angle. I mean, now it's the case of um, tomorrow, uh, the NBA play-ins tournament. Uh, essentially, where it's the 6, 7, 8, oh, sorry, 7, 8, 9, 10 seeds. Um, that essentially will be playing against each other uh, for the best of to basically get that seed into the playoffs, the actual playoffs, basically at that point. Um, it's it's going to be interesting, uh, put it that way. The team, some of the teams that were in the plans are now out of the plans. One of the teams, of course, being the Dallas Mavericks, they were semi like the number. four five or number six spot at the time and then they just dropped and kept dropping and just dropped completely uh which was really surprising um but in any case let's show you so tomorrow's game basically will be no more than um the uh essentially the sorry it would be seven and eight team basically playing tomorrow uh for both sides the eastern and western conference of course in the eastern conference you have the uh, seven seed uh, being the Miami Heat and the eight seed being the Atlanta Hawks and the seven seed Lakers versus the eight seed Timberwolves. Um, now, this this one's going to be an interesting game, the one with the Lakers and the Timberwolves. That'll be an interesting one. The reason why I think the Miami Heat's Hawks game won't be as interesting is because I feel that in this case, even though they got Jimmy Butler, uh, I think it's a situation where you might see Trey Young come back and like basically bring him back out of it and like basically beat the Heat. Now the question is, is like can Spolstra and Jimmy Butler, Spolstra managed his team with Jimmy Butler to essentially beat him out? It's a possibility, but I have a feeling that this is more of a Hawks te a team than a Heat team at this point, quite honestly, um, uh, um, as far as the uh, game is concerned. Now... In relation to the um, Lakers Wolves game, Timberwolves games, this is when it's going to be interesting. Um, I think the fact that the Lakers are very red hot and now LeBron's back, it's most likely going to be the case where like they'll probably beat out the Timberwolves uh, tomorrow. Um, now some might say, oh, "Well, John John Morant is back," but in reality, is he really back? It's more of a case where like the guy hasn't really produced as much. Um, I mean, not produced as much, but more of the case where like he's got to get back to the rhythm and like he became a huge distraction to the team itself, basically. And I think the team mates are losing faith in him at that point as well too whereas with the lakers um after the trade uh you know they started getting red hot uh to the point where you know russell has now um become part of the complementary factor that both uh, uh james and um ad needed essentially uh and anthony davis is red hot lebron coming back uh, you know, so let's, you know, th I think this is a game where I think the Lakers win uh, between the Heat and Hawks. I, I'm going to say the Hawks are going to win against the Heat in this case. Um, now, for the um, essentially the number nine and ten seeds, it's going to be an interesting one as well, too, to be quite honest, for both the East and West. Of course, the Raptors being the number nine seed and the Bulls being the ten seed. Uh, same thing with the Pelicans, of course. Pelicans being the number nine seed and the Hawk uh, Thunder being the ten seed. This one, I think it's going to be straightforward and easy. Zion's back, uh, full force. Uh, I think it's going to be a case where like it's the Pelicans beating out the Thunder in this case. Between the Bulls and Raptors, um, I was going to say initially the Bulls because they were like producing themselves, but I have a feeling in this case it's probably going to be the Raptors. So I think this is a straight one, straightforward one as well too. The Raptors and Pelicans winning at this point. So between the Raptors playing against the what I would say the Atlanta Hawks, I would say the Hawks would probably win that. Pelicans against the um, the Pelicans against the Lakers, that's going to be an interesting. But I would say most likely it's going to be a little bit more dominant with the fact that you know you're going to have um, LeBron back playing full force, and I think he's not going to let the, you know get eliminated again. So I think they're going to beat out the Pelicans at this point as well too. Um, but with that, after that, you know, once those, you know, once those, uh, plan, you know, plans are done basically at that point, then it comes down to like, you know, uh, how does this work? Um, it, it'll be interesting to see the, the fact that, you know, in both of these cases, in these plans, they have to win two straight games just to advance essentially. And that's going to be an interesting factor as well too. And it's more of a case where like, I don't see 
how this will work out in this perspective. But, you know, that's only the playing games right now at this point, right? Um, from that, you know, you know, then you start the season and you'll have the 76ers uh, playing against the Nets. Uh, of course, in this case where, you know, the 76ers have the uh, th third seed. Um, and then, you know, you've got this Nets who just barely made it in with a guaranteed spot. Uh, I mean, they had enough wins at that point that they can they can maintain that lead, you know, maintain that. Uh, they, may, they were able to maintain that lead against the uh, Bulls as well as the, um, I'm sorry, uh, with the Hawks and the, uh, you know, sorry, with the Hawks. I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, you know, with the Hawks and the Heat, basically. They had that, you know, that just enough lead, basically, to keep them so maintained in that guaranteed spot. Question is, is like, can Mikhail Bridges do really well against the 76 this is a game i think where we know the 76ers are going to pretty much win out at this point i mean that's the most likely scenario i mean honestly it'd be a surprise if the next could maybe win may, nets can win maybe one one game out of this um series uh but let's let's it's, it's to the 76ers at this point and then of course you've got um and this is, of course, all starting on Saturday. And then you got the Knicks places versus the Cavaliers. I'll come to that in a bit. And then, of course, after that, then you got the Warriors, who became just hot enough to clinch that spot, spot to go against the uh, you know Sacramento Kings. Now, the real question is, is like the Sacramento Kings are doing really well. Uh, can the Warriors actually come back to their normal form of what it was last year, championship caliber, and you know beat out the Kings? I will say that this chances the game will the game the series will go into six games. The question is, is like, who of the six games uh, will win it? I have, I'm, I'm gonna put my trust in the Warriors at this point. Honestly, I think they come back together. Um, this is a point where they group up, regroup, and they say, you know what? Let's start afresh. We're in the playoffs. Let's just go out and win and beat the Kings, basically. So don't be surprised if the Kings actually lose to the Warriors uh, in this case. Um, now, as far as the um, the following game, basically, where, you know, it comes down to the fact that you got the, uh, actually, I think, wait, is it, is it the Celtics? Yeah, the Celtics and the to-be-determined team to play. It'll be interesting. I think the uh, the Celtics won that game, to be quite honest. I think the Celtics have that game at that point, honestly, more than anything else. Now, between the Knicks and the Cavaliers, this is going to be an interesting one. And the fact that the Knicks cannot get the fourth seed, uh, you know, against the Cavaliers, it does, it, it kind of comes back to haunt them a little bit. But the real question is, is like, can the Knicks beat out the Cavaliers? Donovan Mitchell, I mean, uh, yeah, Donovan Mitchell, scoring an OT for those 71 points, shows how really good he is. Without him, Cleveland is not the number four seed. It comes to the point of this. If the Knicks had gotten Mitchell, and also had Brunson. Chances are the Knicks would probably be in the number four or maybe number three spot in this situation. So the real question comes down to this is, will the Knicks lose out to Donovan Mitchell? I think this will be the bigger disappointment um, for the Knicks fans if they lose out to the Cleveland Cavaliers if Donovan, if, if, because of Donovan Mitchell. Because the thing is, is like everyone, the Knicks organization as well as the Knicks fans were hoping for Mitchell to come into the come into the Knicks with him and Brunson in the backcourt it would have been great uh, so I think it would be a stab direct stab in the heart salt on the wound adding more salt to the wound if Donovan Mitchell eliminated the Knicks but honestly I think the Knicks probably can potentially beat him out in this case now you have the Bucks and the Nuggets of course now um, they're both number one respective in their conferences Bucks Honestly, depending on who they're playing, you, you, chances are you're gonna, they're probably going to bet it out, win it out. I'm sorry. Now, I said that the uh, earlier on, as far as when the Lakers were going against the um, the Minnesota Timberwolves, and I was saying John Morant, I forgot John Morant is on the Grizzlies. That's not the case. So in this case, I think the Lakers take out the Timberwolves anyways, no matter what. It won't matter. They take out the Timberwolves no matter what. Um, with the Nuggets and Bucks, of course, you know, it's more of a case where you have the Bucks. They're doing really well. They just start they're starting to come back together again and they're pulling it together so see them look for them to you know advance farther into the you know into the way of picture 
Same thing with the Nuggets. Um, I think they'll advance further as well, too. Um, you've got against, of course, the number four Suns versus go, going against the number five Clippers. I think this team, the Suns, are favored to go to the to the finals because of the fact of the pickup of Kevin Durant. You got Kevin Durant, Booker, uh, Devin Booker, and of course, you know, uh, CP3. But let's not take the Clippers out because you've got the Clippers with, you know, if Kawhi Leonard and Paul George come back and play healthy and Russell Westbrook coming in to play as well. So those three can be a dangerous trio. The real question is, can Russell be the non-ball hogger in a ways where he knows how to give it up to, you know, Kawhi and uh, PG uh, that, you know, they can win it out. Because one of the things is, is this would be redemption for Russell as well, too, if he can beat out um, Durant in this case. If he can, I think he justifies himself as being decently good at that point as well. You know, he's really a really good player. It's just a matter of, like, his shot shooting percentages have gone down a little bit. But I think with Kawhi and such, it can go back up at this point. Uh, honestly, I would not be surprised the the Clippers beating out the Suns in this series. Don't be surprised if the Clippers beat out the Suns. Um, it, it'll definitely go to six to seven games for sure. Um, it, it, let's put it this way. In the first two games, I think it comes down to the first two games, how the games are won. If the Suns beat out the Clippers in the first game and then lose to the second game, but it's like by very close, look for the Clippers to win out, uh, win the series. If the Suns can beat the Clippers by 10 in the first game, and if the Suns win by one or lose by two, then I'll say the Suns will win the series in six. Uh, but it all comes down to how were the first game, first two games play, basically, at that point, quite honestly. I think that's what it comes down to. Uh, but with that, I mean, you know, I I foresee, you know, out of the East, the team to come out of the East, I would want to say the Knicks. I want to say the Knicks, but realistically speaking, that's not happening. It's going to be between Boston and, and, and Milwaukee. The real question is, between the two, who's going to go come out go on to the finals? It's a toss up in the air. It's like for the past three years, it's going to be between. It's it, for the past two years, it was between the Bucks and the uh, and the uh, Celtics. I mean, the Celtics were dominant the first half of this year. You know, first half of the season, uh, they just showed their mortality a little bit now. Um, I want to say it's going to be the Bucks coming in into the season. Basically, I think the Bucks come out and win. Uh, you know, win it all and go into the not win it all, but at least get into the finals. Now on the flip side, on the west side. Who do we see getting into the finals? Some would say most likely the Nuggets in this situation. This Nuggets or the Suns, more than anything else. Honestly, I'm going to pull my sleep sleeper here. I'm going to pick my sleeper. I'm going to say it's probably not going to be any of those two. I'm thinking it's going to be either the Golden State Warriors or the Lakers. It's going to be one of those two teams. Because if they get their acts, uh, if they get their act together, and they start gelling and they start shooting both both of these teams. Look for those two teams to become the most dangerous teams in the playoffs. Now, between the two of the of the two getting into the play, you know, getting into the finals, I would want to say it's most likely going to be in this case the Lakers. I would say the Lakers. Um, I would not be surprised the Lakers getting into the finals this year as well too. I don't think the Nuggets are going to make the finals. Uh, quite honestly, I don't think it's going to be that. The Suns are most out of all the teams. Most likely the Suns. But the sleepers will probably. Be, I will have. I actually. I want to say the Lakers, but I, I just realized. You know, playing this many games, I don't think LeBron has it in him to like go the distance. So I'm, it might most likely will be. Uh, I think the Golden State Warriors. I think the Golden State Warriors. So I'm taking back the Lakers. I'm putting the Golden State Warriors. Just thinking about it now, I just realized. You know what? The Golden State Warriors have a more likelihood of getting into there because, like, with the way LeBron is, is winning. You know, the, the two playing games. I don't think he'll have enough juice in him to basically meet it out into the you know conference finals, uh, whoever it may be. Whereas I think the Golden State Warriors, um, they'll have enough. They still have enough youth and they still have enough talent on their team to actually produce you know go as man as far into the fi- you know into the playoffs specifically into the finals. So, I want to say this: the Nuggets are not getting into the finals. The Suns most likely can or will, uh, but if not them, then I'll say it's most likely the. Um, Golden State Warriors. But more often, I'm going to say my sleeper pick for going to the finals is going to be the Golden State Warriors. It's probably going to come down to the Golden State Warriors versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Of the two teams winning the final championships, I'm going to say the Milwaukee Bucks because they've done it once. They beat the Warriors before. I think they'll do it again this time again as well too. And uh, Giannis, the freak, Greek freak, will most likely 
come back with a second world, a second ring. And if he produces a second ring, he gets into that talk of how really good he is. Because remember, he doesn't have any really good, he doesn't have any, any all-stars on his team. It's just for him. And the fact he's able to do this on his own, he doesn't have a Scottie Pippen on his team. I hate to say it, but like he doesn't have a Scottie Pippen or a James Worthy slash, you know, uh, a Kareem. He doesn't have a Dwayne Wade and a, a, a Bosch on his team, or for this matter, you know, Anthony Davis. Um, he doesn't have a. Uh, we got Clay Thompson and uh, Draymond Green, basically, or uh, Kevin Durant. He doesn't have those. This is him on his own. So let's not take it away for granted. Like this guy, he really threw the one on his own without any superstars. They're not going to a super team. I think should be mentioned into the into the or start entering the conversation of how really good he is and how really great he is at that point. But I'm getting ahead of myself. First off, let's let's just wait till the end of the play, you know, finals and see who the teams are. But in this case, it's pretty much what it is. Um, so I'll leave it at that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Uh, who do you think will win in, in the plans? Who do you think is going to advance in the plans? And who do you think is going to be, you know, what, let me know your thoughts about like, you know, my, um, my, I want to say not analysis, but more of my opinions of who's going to win and such. Um, down the line, I'll probably give you more thorough analysis of who's probably, you know, uh, you know, more in te technical statistical analysis between the teams down the line. Um, tends to with the when it's down to the final f uh, four teams, um, as far as who's most likely going to win from that point, and like who's the most likely winner of the NBA Finals, I'm, uh, I'm with that. Now, if you've enjoyed my video, uh, yeah, I please do ask that you like my uh, video, and as well as uh, if you leave a comment, I will. I do le look at all my comments, read all my comments, and I do respond to them. Eventually, I do respond to them uh, when I do get notified. And if you like, if you do like my video as well as my other video and other content, please subscribe. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, uh, you know, and hopefully we can enjoy and move this channel forward. Uh, also, uh, other aspect is as well too. Like I said in the comments, it's something that I'm relatively doing new right now. I'm still learning a little bit, so I do appreciate feedback. I do appreciate comments. Uh, so please, uh, uh, being critiqued, so I do enjoy that. Please leave me your feedback and um, critic uh, critique about my channel and my videos uh with that i'll leave it at that unfiltered unedited and unrehearsed until next time